or how to get uh, any Vista thing. Uh, as you can see, mine, is, I'm going to show you how to get this one, but there are plenty of others you can get. Um, I am currently running Home Basic, so I love the Media Center look, Media Center Edition button. But um, this is what it will look like in Arrow. Okay, so this is what it looks like, uh, this is what it looks like when it's in just the arrow. Um, not too much of a difference, except for this being transparent, um, I kind of like the blue. So, I'm going to just quickly change this back. And, uh, we can get started. So, like I said, we will be, um, I'm getting tune-up utilities, because I am, um, personally, I do not like Windows blinds, I think it's a bit out there. Um, so we're going to, we will be getting tune-up utilities, which is truly great, not just for themes, that's a total extra, but, um, for example, it's going to optimize my system for maintenance, speed, and health, as you can see, um, there are quite a few options. Uh, you have another defragger registry, which I just did today, speed, and startup manager. The startup manager helps a lot in case you have, uh, something popping up that on startup that you don't know how to get rid of. It's very simple. Let's say I don't want this to go up on startup. It's not going to. Alright, just like that. Um, I use this a lot, too. Um, I, it'll remove any uh, backups, backup, wasted backups, I should say. It'll still keep a backup for you, but um, it will remove them. So right now, it's about to remove nine gigs. It's fair, fairly quick, uh, depending on what exactly you're cleaning. And what first, what I will be showing you is getting uh, tune-up utilities for free. This doesn't cost money, but you're gonna be getting it for free. Um, all right, all that nine gigs removed. So you wanna open up your Internet Explorer or Firefox, so it's not like it. And you wanna be going to this website. It's called a uh, punkcracks.nl.nu look in description if you need to Oops. okay um very nice this leads you all the way through it you want to click on your os now you want to click on what you want to up 2009, click on it. Alright, what you're gonna do is download it for uh, whichever one you want. I'm United States English, so I would download this. Uh, go to the crack, and when this asks you for your serial, click generate. Gives you a serial, just copy and paste it, and you got it. See, this tells you exactly what to do. Install, done, done. See, you just have to enter your serial. Uh, this is not a whole lot of language, so not very helpful. Next, what you need to do just to get this particular theme, google.com. Alright, now here's where you want to search this the new refresh theme. And click enter. And now this is where you want to find. Now I believe it was Beltfire. Pretty different name. I got it from. Uh, scroll down right here. So you want to click on move it. Third, fourth one down called Beltfire. Um, just download it like normal. Download it here. Get it now. Alright. 
And now this is where you want to do oh what zip. Ah, so sorry. Good, okay. And you want to extract it wherever you want. Alright, now you don't need Mac unless you have a Mac. Open this and you want to remember this one. Alright, you don't want to just uh remember where you saved it. Then you want to open up tune up. And you want to click on customize windows and click on tune up stylus. And this is where you want to go to visual style. See, these are the visual styles I have. Uh, actually, I'll just show you right now. You can customize your boot screen. So, like, instead of seeing this ugly, uh, let's see. Yeah, instead of seeing this, you get to see whatever you want. Um, right now I got Halo 3. But you can also just go to the site and get ones like this. Um, and then you can also start up logo. So instead of it being this, uh, I like this one because it will count down when it's ready to log in. And your log on screen, which I can see in that table. Um, yeah, so. so now click on visual style. And click on add. Install visual style from file. And I have to remember where you got it from. So yeah, go ahead. Where you got it. Folder. And this one right here, click open. You got it. Now I already have it right now. You click apply and install. And uh before you know it, it will go like that. And you got it. Um depending on whether you have home basic or uh premium then uh arrow or not. Then uh, that'll just show what it looks like. Now, another good way to go is Deviant Art. Um, this website is perfect because now at Deviant Art, you want to go to customization, skins and themes. Windows Vista Utilities and Visual Styles. Not Windows Lines, Visual Styles. And another one I recommend what is it? might be this. Yes. No. Yes. This is another one I recommend. It's called a uh, Steel Flash. And all I have to do is click download here and uh you know, use it like normal, like I just showed you. But this one, especially, I like to, but uh, I'm um, just in this mood. And you can switch them like in a flash, just op pop this open and uh, switch it. So now you're done. You got the Vista Blue refresh theme. And that's it. So, see you later. Check my channel for more vids. Uh, bye.